What's up y'all, it's your girl Nyla Ann, and we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to achieve your own two braid quick weave. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. Girl, is you tripping? Ain't no way you not subscribed to the Nyla Ann. What you mean you're not subscribed to Nyla Ann? Say it, man. What you mean you ain't subscribed to Nyla Ann? You not subscribe? What you mean you not subscribe to Nayu Lian? The YouTuber? The hairstylist? What are you doing? Baby, if you still not subscribe to Nayu Lian, be Nayu Lian, then what are you doing? What you mean you not subscribe to Nayu Lian? Are you dumb? So of course we're starting with freshly cleaned hair. Be sure to check out my recent short in case you need my blow dry routine. And let's get started. Of course, you want to start by making your middle part. And girl, literally your entire style depends on it. So start by making that middle part. Now we're just going to finish parting all of the front. So literally, I started at the tip of my ear and went all the way up into my middle part on both sides. And I just sectioned it off with a hair tie. So essentially now you should have two ponytails. I'm also gonna show y'all what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna make a small U parting. I'm going off of my middle part, which is why I told y'all to make sure you do your middle part first. Um, all I'm doing is just simply making a small little section for my leave out. Y'all, I got this style off TikTok, and I think I want to try it again with no leave-out, because I'm just not a leave-out girly, but we doing leave-out for right now, so this is what you're supposed to be doing. So as y'all can see, I'm just tying it up, and I'm going to be putting it in a little ball. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like, but make sure that you have a clear distinction, and I'm going to tell y'all why later, but now we're going to get into the braids. All right, y'all, so for the braids, we're just going to do a couple quick braids. Um, It doesn't really have to be super small. The key is to have it flat. I kind of wanted my hair to be kind of like, not poofy in a sense, but I didn't want it to look real, real skimpy because we're already using synthetic hair, but y'all gonna get the idea in a little bit. So I think I did maybe five braids and I connect them all. Me personally, whenever I do quick weaves, I do not like to get the back of my edges, like, you know, your little kitchen area, because I don't know, I just be so scared that, you know, my hair gonna come out. So I'll get most of it. But if you have really, really small hairs, Girl, leave that alone. As y'all can see, it's like a whole row off. Um, but this is just me doing the last braid. I did about six braids and connected them all at the back. I'm going to show y'all how I connected them on this braid. And then we're going to get straight into the quick weave. All right, so now it's time to put the cap on. And as y'all can see, I put a clip there because I don't want to get any of that liquid protectant on my leave out. So I'm just going to put the cap on and cut out some ear tabs and put your gloves on. I normally use this liquid protectant. It's like a dollar or two at the beauty supply store. And I ran out of um, my little spatula. So I'm going to be putting it on with a glove, making sure I get it all on there. And I don't know about y'all, but I'll be using like half a bottle because I don't need none of that glue on my scalp, on my hair, none of that. And it just makes the take down like super, super easy. So next, I'm just gonna dry it with some got to be spray and sit under my blow dryer for about 30 minutes. And we're gonna get started with the quick weave. So for today's video, we're going to be using hair from Breezy Wave. It's the organic version. And this is just what the hair is looking like. So next, I'm just going to get ready to start. All I'm doing is measuring my section. I'm going to take a little bit of hair bonding glue and put it along the edges, just sticking it down, making sure it's nice and secure. I like to hit mine with a little bit of got to be and then right back in it with my blow dryer for like 30 seconds, making sure that those ends are securely pressed down. The process is super, super easy. So I'm just going to do it a few times to make sure you guys get the gist of it. Literally, you're just going to make sure that you're going in a U shape, making sure kind of that the end of the track is a little bit close to where your parting is, just so that it's hidden. You don't have to worry about tracks being shown or anything like that. And after that, you'll be done. Mm -hmm. 
your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils. Here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just once I get about halfway, that's the time that I like to cut my cap off. So all I do literally is take some scissors and just follow my outline. The liquid protectant makes it really, really hard and firm. So you don't have to worry about your cap coming off or anything. And this is what my hair looks like after I have got all my tracks in and cut all of my cap off. I know y'all probably seen a little bit in the back, but don't worry, I cut it off. Next thing I know, I looked up and it was shot o'clock, so me and Tori took a shot. And now it's time to braid. So I'm going to be using the lock and twist. And all I did was pull my edges out and start by applying the product on each side. Make sure you got the product, you know, nice and saturated. And then I'm just going to take my comb and make sure that I'm combing it out, making sure it's nice and smooth. And I just proceeded to do two feed-ins. I think I have a video of that on my page, but if you guys need another one, let me know and I'll definitely get it to you. Girl, I know you feel me, you can't, yeah, yeah. Uh, so much to live for the truth, baby. Uh, let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all that we got. And y'all, I promise it does not hurt. I am just super, super afflicted when I do my own hair. So like the movement in the faces, this is like 100% normal for me. So just excuse it. For product references, I did use the Freetress brand in the color 1B. And I believe the length was a 36 inch. I also used 14 pieces because I do add a small piece in each section. And as y'all can see, I'm just getting to the end. So once I got here, I braided typically all the way down. I just left like a small space so I could put some rollers and I just copied this exact braid on the other side. So after the braids, it's finally time to tackle this leave out. So the first thing that I went in with was just a little bit of bio silk. I put some in my hands, rubbed them together, and then just made sure to saturate my hair really, really well. And then I'm just going to get started with my blow dryer. I just went in to make sure, you know, it was a little bit straighter because it had been like an hour or so. So just combing it out and now it's time to flat iron. Typically, I would go in with my hot comb, but I didn't have it with me. So a flat iron had to do for now. If you have your hot comb, definitely use it first. But since I didn't, I just did every section on 300, then went in with my slick stick and went back over it on like 400. After that, I just went in, as y'all can see, getting my ponytail together, tying it down. I did put some rollers in it and dip it. And right now I'm just doing my edges, making her look nice and cute. And y'all gonna see the finished product because baby, voila, look at her. Ugh, I'm gonna buy you ice mama but that is it for this video thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all later bye y'all